Sir, welcome back, people. Uh, I'm here again with another tutorial, another session in SolidWorks. Okay, I got an assembly. It's a sheet metal component, and today in this tutorial, I'll be talking about the toolbox you have on the design library in SolidWorks. Okay, so I have a component over here. I just would like to add a few nuts and bolts to it, and I'll show you how I could do it actually using the toolbox. Right? So initially, you need to activate this uh, toolbox. Uh, going on the add-ins and then selecting all is directly in the design itself design library itself you have a toolbar option when you click on it it will say configure now by clicking on it it will directly configure it. Okay. so I'll just click and expand the tree I'll use ANSI metric and I'll be using um, sockets socket head screw and under that I'll be using socket head cap screw of standard ANSI B18.3.4 okay now uh, let me begin okay i got this one so i'll just click and drag and drop now but uh, do observe what is visible under one cursor okay fine i'll just click and drag here drop it and now it will ask me to configure it and i'll select m3 because that's a, a whole size of a hole and the length is okay in case if you would like to change the length click on the green arrow and change it and you can even snap it to the scale which is next to it say ok and now it will leave you with the pre-configured bolt and you can place it wherever you have a 3mm size of it ok I'll just place it here one I'll place another one here I'll place another one here ok I'm done with it I'll just exit out of it now I'll click on here I'll just I'll just lock this using the lock button Fine. now I'll jump to nuts sort of, I got another hole of size 5 mm I'll just take the same use the same bolt again drag and drop here okay drag and drop here now size is 5 so I'll put it as M5 but I would do like to change the length so I'll click and drag it to 8 snap it and I'll click OK um, I'm out of it, um, but I'm left with few more components to configure to myself. I'll select the places where I would like to place this. I'm done with it and I'll say exit in order to avoid further complications. Okay, now I'll go to net. I'll select the flange net. It's the same standard. I'll click and drag here. Uh, I'll just leave it. Now I'll configure it's an M5. I'm not bothered about the length, it's gonna be standard. It has their own uh, have their own standard to use. Okay, now I'll explain about um, the icon that is formed underneath my cursor. Okay. Now you can see there are two planes with a two, uh, two, uh, two arrows facing opposite. That means it is forming a planar make right now. Now I'll change the location of my cursor to a cylinder one. That is the bolt, and you can see underneath my cursor. Now there are two cylinders, with, uh, which are co coaxial. That means it it is forming a concentric mate right now. But right now I'll select a face. Uh, my cursor is right now uh, it's under a plane face as well as in a, a cylindrical face of that particular bolt. Now you could see there is an icon form that uh, in which one is cylinder which is being concentric with the one plane which has an hole. So it means it forms a two kinds of mate at this point of time that is that is one is cylinder and second is a concentric with the planar one. I'll just click it. I'll just leave and leave it and you could see the faces they are coinciding and it is coaxial, coaxial with the bolt. So uh, in SOLIDWORKS in one way or other they try to let you know what you are doing by selecting at certain stages well this is very useful especially when you're working in an assembly mode and when you're using a smart mate it will, auto it will automatically indicate you what kind of operation or what kind of mating you're providing in SOLIDWORKS and okay so this is how it is and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this session thank you for watching it